Okay, so the Tour Down Under is just about to start in a couple of weeks' time, just over two weeks' time, on um, January the 16th, and Ramon Bardet has hit town, one of the big hitters. So I thought I'd have a bit of fun tonight and um, have a look at uh, a bit of Strava and see um, how he compares to my times along some of the segments. So uh, we've got the Strava here. This is his first ride in Adelaide. Uh, good morning, Australia. And uh, let's have a look at some of the segments. Now, the intro <laughs> the first, actually, first thing, first things first, we'll go back. I'll show you something cool. Uh, the how many k's of pros ride compared to a walrus? Uh, let's have a look here. His average distance: uh, 497 k's versus mine 51. Uh, distance in 2019: 22,710 kilometers versus my measly 1175. But it's usually the elevation gain that gets me. <laughs> he's he's ridden 400,392 meters of elevation and I haven't hit four, I haven't even hit 4,000 so he's a hundred times more uh, hills than myself 183 volt rides versus 35 and he's done 111,000 Ks on uh, Strava I've only done 9,000 biggest ride 289 mine's 106 so there we go so let's let's get stuck into this because I at least I can brag that I've I can beat him on some of my segments, but uh, <laughs> I don't think it'll last long. I think once he goes goes for a few more rides, he'll probably beat these. But uh, let's try the first one. Fullerton to Greenhill. What's what's he got here? Oh, no, that one's I haven't done that one because I don't usually go down there. I think the second one we got though. Glen Osmond to Palmston Road. He did a 2:24. My PR is 1:43. Take that, Roman. <laughs> Green Hill push. Let's have a look. What's he got? What What do you got, mate? What have you got? He's done 127. My PR is 49 seconds. It'll lift your game, buddy. It'll lift your game. They're rookie numbers. Rookie numbers. <laughs> yeah, it's all good fun. And it's good. It's good to record these too because you know he'll do do a few more rides probably in this in the same thing and uh, and totally obliterate our our times. Um, here we go. Goodies. Whatever goodies means. <laughs> I'm not too sure. Uh, there's some funny names for Strava segments. He did 502. My best is 348. 348. Doing well. Uh, Green Hill, only the Peacock. These are very slightly downhill. So I'm probably going to do better times than him anyway. Uh, 50, oh look he's, he's close there, 53 seconds, my PR is 52. Uh, Peacock to Clarkburn. Come on Roman, you can beat me in one. Oh no, oh one second off again. He's, he did a 38, my PR is 37. Glenelg Road, flat top speed. What have we got, what have we got? Another one, 38 seconds. I'm doing 36. I love all these ones around 66 k's an hour. I reckon uh, a lot of these are in cars. I don't believe they're on a bike, but you never know. Green Hill to leader. What do we got? Come on, Roman. 131. My best is 103. Killed him. 48.8 k's an hour. I was, I was hooning along. Uh, I do remember that actually. I was. I had the green light on Green Hill Road. I was coming down Anzac Highway. And I was just fanging it along there, 48.8. It's not too bad. I still didn't get the, still didn't, only cracked like uh, what 192. Ah, there's almost 20,000 efforts there. That's that's a very. This is where a lot of people ride to work. So, a lot of people go down Anzac Highway. Very hard to get the KO in there. Uh, Green Hill to Marion. This is it's just so cool seeing seeing a pro like Roman doing doing the same roads that I do. Uh, 610, oh no, 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 not good enough buddy, 537 for the Walrus, 537, check out these times though, 354, 60 k's an hour, it is, it is slightly downhill, I reckon even when I was fit I wouldn't even be doing that sort of time, I used to hit around 51, 51 around along the Anzac Highway, although, hmm, probably, probably a bit more than that actually. Uh, Green Hill to South. What do we got? What do we got? Okay, he's got to beat me in one. 232. Walrus Riders Best. 201. <laughs> 201. 
201 Hubbard segment. Yeah, that one. There we go. 111, my best, 48. 48 seconds. Actually, there's a good one here. We'll, we'll skip. We'll, I know. I know. You, I know you beat me in one of them. <laughs> so I was looking through before. Uh, Fifty-five. My best fifty. I say this is a cool little segment. Which yacht is mine? <laughs> you can see all the yachts. That's where all the uh, all the yachts park at the paddle along there at Glenelg. Which yacht is mine? I like that. That is pretty cool. I, I can't see how anyone's going to do fifty-four k's now along there because, although I think what happened with this KOM is uh, they had a closed uh, criterium around there so that could be why they reached those sort of speeds but there's no way you can do that because this is a very sharp corner coming from from the beach to there to the left and there's no way you're going to be able to hit 54 and because it's not that it's not that long a segment it's only you know, 500 meters uh, i wouldn't say it's even 500 meters but um Fair enough. That's pretty pretty darn quick to be hitting those sort of speeds along there because you've got to accelerate from accelerate out of that corner. North Esplanade is definitely going that way, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's definitely definitely heading that way. So uh, I call BS on that one. North Esplanade climb. This is where this is where Roman gets me. This is where he kicks my ass here. Uh, one hundred three. My best is one thirty five. Sixteen percent. I don't think that's sixteen percent there. <laughs> No, no, it's not 16%. That is not a 16% climb at all. Uh, King Bridge. How can it be 16% in a little segment of it's 3%? You know what I mean? It's just silly. And it's just what's, this is what frustrates me about Strava. A lot of this stuff is just rubbish. Uh, PR19, my PR18. Got him. Got him. Flex bikes. <laughs> the sewage sprint. <laughs> That's right, the sewage works along there. We got 122. Oh, my PS 125. Actually, is that a bit of a climb there? Uh, oh, yeah, it's climbed through there. Alrighty, but the interesting thing is, I'll show you. I'll show you this. It's really cool. Um, where's his? Oh, okay, I think it's on his main, on his main page. We'll go back. Uh, does it show his? Here we go. Check this out. One day in Adelaide. <laughs> He's already getting top tens on uh, you know the big segments. You know, 48 minutes, 42 minutes, 41 minutes, 39 minutes. Six overall, six overall, seventh overall, eighth overall. So let, let's check this out. The uh, so the Glenelg Vet Bay to Bollards. That's from Glenelg uh, to the top of the freeway. So that's pretty. That's a pretty decent ride. So you start off at Glenelg and go all the way up. To the bollards up on Eagle on the Hill there, and uh, what's he averaging? Uh, so this is this is pretty cool. So 48.8, and he's he's cut, still a couple of minutes off the uh, KOM. These guys are pretty pretty cool. Cameron Bailey, he's a he's a uh, pro rider. Ben Tregworth, he's just strong. Ryan Obs, uh, pro cycling. That's uh, Steve Cunningham. Jack Tierney, haven't heard of him. And then we got Roman Berde. It is so cool when you start seeing the names there. Although uh, there's there's a bit of a love hate relationship with uh, all the pros coming to Adelaide because inevitably if they if they start racing on a course and it's up one of your favourite climbs, you're pretty much going to go from KOM down to like a hundredth. You know, famously is the uh, Norton Summit. Uh, let's check out Norton Summit uh, segments. The famous Norton Summit. Uh, summit, Northern Summit. Here we go. Segments. What do we got? There's a lot of Northern Summit segments. Oh, here we go. 548. So here we go. Thomas again. He's got the KOM. But if you look at the uh, look at the leaderboard here, it's just a, it's like the who's who of uh, pro cycling. Look at, look at the power numbers. Four four twenty seven watts. I know Lars Boom. Oh, let's put the. Uh, like here, Lars Boom. I was looking at his numbers here. Where are we? I think he's a little bit further back. Um, he was close to 500 watts. Uh, Phil Guyman, during ride, likes to dig into him. Oh, here we go. Lars Boom, 484 watts. That's nuts. 484 watts. And this was just at the start of one of the two done understages. See here, 22nd January 2016. 
everyone was everyone was so looking forward to seeing the pros go up there and seeing what times they could do and they just blitzed it 1106 so if you look uh, let's look at um so despite phil garmin's uh garmin's time garmon or i can't remember how you pronounce it uh so he did it he did it uh, three years later um let's have a look let's go through a couple of pages here like this is the most famous climb in adelaide so it's 22nd so you just ignore the 26th 22nd of january's and phil garmon he he's a bit of an outlier too so damien hausen used to own a record uh 1129 back in february 2012 and he held it for quite a while until Thomas again, so it went from 11:29 to what was Thomas's time? 11:06. Uh, so it took 23 seconds off. And if you look at the speed difference, let's have a look. Uh, where are we? Uh, Daryl Impey. Oh, actually, Daryl Impey did a good time there too. Uh, so Daryl Impey might have held it before, after Damien Housen. 12th of January was that? That I don't think that was a tour down under stage either. Let's have a look at Daryl Impey's time. There we go. Let's have a look if it was a tour down under stage or whether it was just a ride. Mm, let's have a look. It doesn't say any flybys there. 120 Ks. I reckon he was just training. He just, he just fanged it up there. Just for fun. Look at all the PRs he's got. I reckon... I don't think he was... I don't think that was during a tour down under stage. It's a little bit early. Two down under doesn't usually start until like mid mid January, so twelfth January is a little bit early. So I, I I reckon that was just one of his training rides, and he just wanted to give Norton some of the guy. So that's pretty cool. So let's have a quick look here. Yeah, so besides Phil Gamon, at uh, let's see twenty nine point three k's now, so twenty nine point six for Thomas De Gent. And then the previous record after that, what did uh, what did they do? Phil, da da da. 2016, 22nd. What did Daryl Impey do? So 29.3, wasn't it? And let's have a look. Daryl Impey, 28.9. It's a little bit in it. 0.4 of a kilometre an hour. It all counts. It all counts. <laughs> yeah, so it's. That's pretty cool. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that. that was, it's quite interesting. You know, whenever a new rider comes through, I like, I like to uh, have a look at how they're going on all the segments and seeing if they intersect with uh, my favourite segments and roads I ride on. And uh, Roman Bardet, he happened to be riding on some of my segments, so I thought I'd check it out. Just, just out of curiosity to see where he was riding. And um, here we go. So I can say, honestly say, I've got proof that I'm faster than Roman Bardet on his first day in Adelaide. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see during the week. He'll probably start um, clipping clipping my best times off. But uh, 29.7 k an hour average in, on a hilly hilly train. It's not bad. You know, I, I usually average about 21, 22. Um, maximum 63. So he's not really fanging it too much there, is he? That's that's not too quick. You can hit about 80 k's now going down uh, Mount Barker Road there, off on the freeway, which we've done before. Before it was a freeway, I used to hit about 80 k's now going down there. Um, what else we got here? Uh, let's have a look. Adelaide Shore Sprint. See what he did there. That's another famous one. Oh, we did a 121. Oh, don't like looking at these now. It's five seconds quicker than me along there. Mind you, he's in a bunch. You can see here he's got a uh, got a fatter there with his teammate. I know exactly where that is. That's just along the foreshore at uh, Glenelg North. All right, so there we go. Hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Uh, so two down unders. I'll be doing probably a lot more coverage. I'll be trying to get some more videos out. Uh, I'm going to do a video on how not to ride with the pros because I. <laughs> I dug up I dug up like my initial riding with the pros and I was like, oh my god, how what was I doing back then? Because I was so keen I was so keen to get footage and I was just I wasn't I I won't say I was doing stupid things, but I was just they just look stupid now because I realised no I shouldn't be doing that because I want I was basically in the back of a group 
and I wanted to get some footage of Sagan and the hills were coming out. I thought, oh God, I have to get, I have to go up the, up the side and get a bit of footage of Sagan because I knew I was going to get dropped as soon as I knew where they were going. They were going up to Balea and I was going to get dropped within like the next like two or three Ks. So, um, but anyway, long story short, they told me off. So <laughs> I'll do a video on that because it's, uh, it's, a, it's a lesson to learn and uh, it's a lesson in patience. It's a lesson in uh, pro etiquette riding with the pro etiquette and just something like that and I'm, I'm not too proud to say I, I stuffed up so so there we go it's, it'll be a good learning experience it'll so, probably save people if they come to Adelaide uh, not to do the same thing I did so um, I'll make that a learning experience there you go guys uh, so I'll see you soon I'll, I'll work on that maybe the next couple of days I'll put it up okay cheers